Hey everybody. And the topic is, let me read this out loud. Okay, the questions are, I am underage and go to school. Do you think it's important for me to move out of my parents' house to get a chance to recover? I've always had troubles with them. The parents, I guess. What are my possibilities? Alright, well, this topic really, you know, hit me because I am 15 years old. I, you know, I'm a sophomore in high school. I'm going to be a junior soon. I don't have my license yet. I'm, you know, my... I have responsibilities, but I'm very limited to some freedoms. And a lot of the, and my parents are one of my biggest triggers, especially my dad. So I think I'm going to tackle the part about, um, do you think it's important for me to move out of my parents' house? Well, no, you definitely don't have to move out to recover that's there's not really much logic in that I mean I can understand where the person's coming from there's plenty of times where I've wanted to just get up and leave you know be on my own go to a family friend's house because I does sometimes especially when I'm deep in my head I do not get along with my parents at all it's it's really tough it's terrible and it just makes my eating disorder worse. So, I've I've asked before to I've asked my doctor, can I please come to the hospital to get away? I want need to get away from my parents. Blah blah blah. I'm never gonna get better. They're triggering me. You know what? And maybe it it's helpful to be away sometimes from your parents. But really, if you're underage, don't move out. Because your house is sometime, is somewhat, even if you don't think of it, it's some it's somewhat of like a, a stable place. You know, you can go to your room when you're feeling down. And, I'm sorry, but um, I realize that a lot of us who struggle with eating disorders have a, trouble with our parents. That's very common. I mean, very common, and it sucks. But you know what, you just gotta you know, swallow it and take it and just keep pushing through your recovery. Because really, this is not for them. This is for you. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I, hope, you're, I hope you guys realize what I'm trying to say. I mean, there was a time when I literally had bags packed to leave. Leave my house. <laughs> and not come back. But I'm still here a year later, and I'm happy with it. I'm glad I never acted on those thoughts, because really this is, you know, recovery happens at home. It, for some people that could be different, but you know, recovery really does happen at home. But it's where you are, and it's where you're gonna sleep at night, and you're gonna eat most of your meals. So yeah, and then there's, let's see, what are your, oh I kind of went over this, like what are your possibilities? Well, I'm very big on getting outside help, like a doctor or a therapist or a support group, you know, I don't think you can really recover without any, without at least one of those. Um, I currently go to a support group at school, which isn't really, sorry. Which isn't really eating disorder based, but it's like image and girls stuff like you know, so that really helps me. That's once a week, and now that summer's coming, though I won't be seeing them, which sucks. But um, I still have you guys, so I think that you should get a base of supporters. Um, there's plenty of like eating disorder groups, and I realize for for underage people this might not be too easy but like a lot of I'm sure if you like google something for your own town especially if you live in a city you'll find a lot of support groups like downtown or whatever um but uh you know check your school you know I'm sure you guys have guidance counselors 
ones and people in high school and older. You know, I'm sure you guys have guidance counselors. I'm sure there's some sort of support group at your school that you might not know of, or maybe someone can your counselor can um refer to you a place, and you know it can be a place that your parents don't know about. Um, let's see, but I really think possibilities are that if you're staying at home, which you should be doing, um, are what I just mentioned, and if you have, if you are a private outpatient place, you know, take advantage of that. Make sure, if your therapist does not give you their work number or their email or something, you know, you have to ask them for it, because those things can become insanely helpful. I have my doctor's work number and pager and all that crap. Well, actually, that's all I have. But, um, it's helped me it's come in handy so many times. And they're on your side. Remember that. Just because they want you to recover does not mean they're against you. I know a time they think that, but it's not true. Um, sorry. So, therefore, you. They want to help you. Go to them. So, what have we learned? Do not leave the house if you're underage. There are some cases where I'm sure there's always some exception. But if even if your relationship with your parents isn't exactly great, mine isn't, but yet here I am doing a lot better recovery than I was even just a year ago. And I'm 15. It's kind of amazing. You don't really, you always think as a teenager that you don't really have that much freedom. But really, you have more than you think. You just, people just don't take advantage of it. You know, you have, you know, the right to, to speak out and get help for yourself. You just need to take that step. So this is in your hands. This has nothing to do, this is not, you know, put your parents aside. Focus on you. So, um... I think I've covered that question. I hope, um, once again, responses and everything, you know, completely. I'd love to hear your responses. I'm basing this off my own experience. I am underage. I go to school. I'm in high school. I have not ever left my house, despite, like, being right over the edge of doing it. And I have a definite huge chance to recover. It's all in my hands now. And I've had trouble with my parents. But I still have tons of possibilities to work with. So I hope you guys take what I've said to heart. Have a good rest of the week and I will see you next Tuesday. Adios.